All right, guys, I'm gonna show you how to do animation, but instead of using the internal program Scratch to do it, because it's not that great as a editor, for pictures at least, I'm gonna show you a program that will do an awesome job with your animations called Pixlr, which you've seen before, but I'm gonna show you just how versatile and how great the program is. So let me show it to you. So I got Scratch and you know Scratch has this little like thing that you can change the costumes in. It's not that good. So let's go to the program that is good at doing this and it is called Pixlr. And I did something crazy here. I actually want to edit two photos together because I like the explosion here, but I like the canon of this one. So I want to combine them. And all I did was I went online, I found the picture of this cannon that I liked, and then I went, hey, you know, I can't find the one that's of it firing or shooting, so I just typed in cannon fire, and then I found one of the firing that I liked. And, oh, I'm sorry, it was up here. So I want to combine them together, and Pixlr will allow you to do that. So if you don't find the exact photo that you want, you can combine photos and get what you want. All right, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into Pixlr. And I'm gonna edit this one and this one, all right? So, it's gonna be pretty simple. Here's my first one. And I wanna remove everything other than what I want, all right? And I just want the smoke. So, I'm gonna put a lasso and around everything I don't want, all right? So, these are the things I don't want. And there you go. And I hit delete, and it's gone. All right, because I only want the part, the smoke part. And again, I'm sorry that they always put advertisements on it, but that's how the program makes money. So now I'm gonna take my can, I'm gonna put it over here, and I want this smoke to come out of the cannon. So right there, All right, there we go. I might rotate it a little bit to get the same angle. And if there's some stuff, see, I don't, maybe I wanna get rid of some of this white over here. That's perfectly fine. I could just take the eraser tool, and if you don't know which one the eraser tool is, it will say eraser, and I could be like, you know what? I just want to erase this. Do you see how it's not erasing this one? Because I'm only on the layer, the firing cannon, not on this. So it will only erase off of the layer that I'm on, which is great because I don't accidentally will ruin and hit this one. So you always have to make sure what layer you're on. You're on the layer of the cannon. But if I clicked on this one, it won't erase off of this, it would only erase off of that, and you don't want that. And if you make a mistake, Control-Z, and it all goes back and undoes. So this is what I want. I want the cannon to shoot, all right? So, first thing I'm gonna do is, I am gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna get rid of this because, you know what? I did it in the last one, and I think it just made it too long. All right, so whatever, I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna start with my smoke small, and then it's gonna get larger. So, I'm gonna select the smoke, and it's gonna be very small. It's gonna be small to begin with. Oh, yeah, that's good, that's good enough. Right there, it starts small. And then I can save this one as a JPEG. So I'm gonna to go to File, and I'm gonna say, you know, Save Image, so I'm gonna save it. I'm going to save it as a JPEG, and here we go. I think I got a little bit of the white. There we go. I think I like that a little more. So I'm going to go to File, Save, JPEG, and I'll just call this one 1. All right, just because of time. And I'm going to hit Download. All right, it's downloaded. Yay, blah, blah. More, of course, more ads because they have to pay. There we go. So now I'm going to make the smoke a little bigger. And I'm gonna go File, and I'm gonna to go to Save. And I'm gonna call this one 2. I'll make it a JPEG, because it makes everything white around. There you go. You have to sit, oh, wait again. And let's close it out. And then I'm gonna make this smoke bigger, and I'm gonna move it away a little bit. There you go. Maybe I'll rotate it down a little. 
And there you go. And I'm going to save that one again. And it's going to just be called four and it's JPEG and I hit download. Now I want it to dissipate. I want it to look like it's like dissipating, going away. And I'm going to hit okay. So now what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to make it seem like it's like fading away. So all I'm going to do with this or this one is I'm going to just take my eraser tool and I'm going to make it a pretty good size. That's pretty good. And I'm not going to make the opacity 100%. And I'm just going to go over it. And again, it doesn't matter how big your eraser tool because it's only on the smoke layer, so it's not actually going to ruin this. So there we go. And I'll put, give it a nice little fade out. I'm just using the edges of the brush as it fades away. I'm going to move the whole thing up a little farther get back to that eraser and get those edges off. And there you go. And then, guess what? I'm gonna save this one as well. So I'm gonna go File, Save. I'm gonna save it as a JPEG. There you go, it's dissipating, it's disappearing. And I think we're up to four. I'll name that one four. And there you go. All right, now remember, you always have to have a static one. All right, and uh, use it in the same thing. Don't just take the original one because it's gonna be different sizes. So just take this one and say, you know what? I'm gonna delete this whole little layer and now I'm just gonna hit save this. And this is the static one, what the Canon does when no one's pushing on it. And it's in the exact place. It's not bigger or smaller. That's why you always wanna take it from what you've been working on. Don't be like, oh, I already have the Canon saved. I'm just gonna throw that one in. Well, that's gonna be a different size, all right, because that's before you edited it. So I'm gonna download. And now I'm gonna go into Scratch. Here's my Scratch project. Get rid of this uh, stupid little guy here. All right, he's out. And I'm gonna bring in my Canon. So I'm just gonna go right here and I'm gonna say, you know what? I'm gonna start with five because you know, that's the static Canon, there it is. Static Canon right there. And now I'm going to go into costume and then I'll add his layers on. So I go right here. I'm going to put in one. Nope. Oh, I don't think you Oh, you can't. It doesn't allow drag and drop. Let's see if it allows for that you can select multiple at the same time. Let's see if that works. Save. Open. Oh, it does allow for multiple. So we got this one, then. This one, then that, ooh, that should be flipped. So we got this one, this one. All right, so there we go. So we have one, we have two, we have three. I don't know why I called it four twice. You guys should have stopped me. Three and then four. And we don't have to call it four one because I had four twice. I can remove that right there. All right. So static, boom, 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 boom. There we go. Perfect. Now, even if you see something that you don't like, see how she has this little like weird little thing right there. The great thing about this program is you can still now edit in this more and say, you know what? I don't like that. I'm going to take the eraser and I'm going to um, eliminate that little weird box off of it because you can do it in this program and say, you know what? I see it here too. And that's annoying me. I don't know why that did that, but Hey, you have the opportunity to remove it. And there you go. And there looks good. All right. We're all set. So I go to the code. You should know this one by now. If you watch the other video, I'm going to have an event when I hit the space bar and then a look's going to happen. I'm going to switch to a backdrop. No, sorry, backdrop, duh. I'm going to switch to a costume. I'm not thinking, James. So there's my first, and then I'm going to wait an amount of time. I'm going to wait like a tenth of a second. And there you go. And I'm going to copy this a few times, this part right here. One, two, three. There we go. I probably need another one. All 
And there you go. Get rid of the time at the end. So I'm going to go one, the two, the three, the four. And then I'm going to go to five because five is the static one. So that's what I want it to end on. All right. Because then it's waiting for the next command. And then I'm just going to hit space bar. And there we go. And then we have our cannon shooting. Sound effects not included. All right. But guess what? You can't put in your own sound effects. So I hope you enjoyed this. And I really hope that it makes your animations of your work come alive. All right. Take care.